In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a morph transition slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added this image with the airplane and in the background, I've added the airport uh, aerial view image and then you can add some the title and the detailed text here. I'm saying that it's going to take off and when I click, you can see here uh, the image of the plane got uh, bigger and then the image uh, in the background also change to this particular city you can add the city name you can add the attraction one attraction two attraction three or any other text uh, depending on the requirement and when i click the plane got more bigger and then you can add the city name too and you can give some different uh, information here then comes the city name three and then this is the sunset view so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease this uh, the images in the background Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. I had a new slide and I have downloaded this particular image from the internet this plane which is the in the PNG format just put it exactly in the center or you can just go to the view enable the guides and put it exactly in the center here then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle you can see here from the tail here till the bottom shape outline make it no outline and then send this to back then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a curve shape to it. So for that right mouse click and select the edit points. You can see here the four edit points. So I'm going to select the top right and you can see the small orange point or this one the white square. Just drag this down till to the area of this one. You can see here and here also I'm going to just drag this one and till here. All right. If you want to drag further we can just drag it till the body also okay here also i'm going to do the same thing let me just put like this so you can see here i have made a shape which looks something like this and this particular shape you can give any gradient fill color for that right mouse click go to the format shape under the fill select the gradient fill here you have got four stops i'm going to delete two stops so one stop i'm going to choose and i'm going to use some dark blue color and another stop I'm going to choose some light blue color all right so now again depending on the requirement you can make it the dark one at the bottom all right once this is done go to the insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering this much area all right shape outline no outline and then send this to back now here in this particular area or this rectangle I'm going to insert some pictures you can insert the picture if you are having from your local PC or you can go and select the picture or texture fill select insert and insert either you can set it from from a file or stock images or online images so I'm going to choose the online images here and I'm going to just say uh, it was taking some time all right so let me just type here like city view or you can just type any images for example i would like to show my plane it's flying from this particular uh, image so just click on insert and you can see here the image got inserted here again if you want to adjust along with this uh, this particular options you can do it if you want to untick this one you can untick this one to rotate with the shape and here you can see here offset bottom all those things you can just align it as per the need so once this is done what you can do is you can go to insert text box and say this is for example los angeles so i'm just saying la uh, city view okay I'm just giving some random text here most probably it may it could be a different uh, city so let me just put it in the center center align I'm going to use the font open sans extra bold increase the size put it exactly in the center and then 
you can add some detailed text here go to insert text box equals hello rem within brackets one some detailed text again white font center align and put it here all right so this is my very first slide now i'm going to duplicate this slide by pressing right mouse click and the duplicate slide and here this time i'm going to increase the size of this plane you can hold the control shift key and you can increase the size of the plane you can see here and this image you can just change it go here click on insert again online pictures and i'm going to just say that maybe a, a mountain view and you can see here we have got some different mountain views so whichever you feel better for me maybe i'm going to choose this let me just click on insert and you can see here i have got this particular image inserted and here you can just type mountain view and then you can just change the text you can add some some more images here depending on the requirement so now again duplicate the slide increase the flight size to much bigger all right you can see here and then here i'm going to change this one to maybe uh, something I'll just say uh, a landscape view and here you can see here we have got different landscape views you can just choose any image uh, maybe let me just choose a kind of this image click insert so you can see here you can add this kind of images so again if you want to change the image again you can simply go here insert online pictures and you can just change some different image also if you like so let me just put landscape view and i'm going to choose a different image here let me just choose uh, maybe this one and click insert and the image got changed you can see here it is showing this image here so now what you have to do is you have to add any number of slides as you want and then accept the first slide second select the from second slide onwards so only two slides i'm going to select go to the transitions morph and here i'm going to reduce the timing to one second so now if i just play this is my first LACT view. You can see here it's a mountain view and this is the another mountain view. You can just change the text or if you want you can just add one more right mouse click duplicate the slide. Again I'm going to change it here more bigger and here the image I'm going to change to the airport view. All right so I'm just going to select the online pictures and I'll just say that airport aerial view and you can just choose any image uh, which I feel uh, better uh, maybe I'll just choose this one click insert and image got changed you can see here and I'll just say this is a airport view and the text if you want you can just delete the text and you can add some different you can see here hold the shift key i'm adding i'm going to add three images of the airport and then here you can just go to the picture and you can just select for example i will just say a beach so this is the place which i'm going to visit or this plane is going to take me here or i can just select this one and i'm just going to make it uh, maybe uh, for my business I'll just say business view you can just see here I can just select this one and I can just choose some other where I can just maybe here I can just say a landscape also and I'm going to choose uh, maybe this one click insert 
and done so now let me just do it from the beginning so this is my first then second the third and the fourth likewise we can just add any number of slides depending on the requirement